What's up Squash Force? I'm happy to be back here with you guys today. If you're new to this channel, please do like and subscribe. Uh, especially if these videos help you out, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you don't miss any videos to come. Um, yes, basically what I'm doing here is I'm teaching you guys all the things that I'm learning on my way to becoming a pro player and trying to share them with you right here on YouTube as well as I can. So today we have a bit of an interesting video for you guys. We're going to talk about the follow through, right? So what is the follow through? The follow through is basically when you swing to where you end up going with your racket, right? A common thing people say is uh, if you want to aim somewhere, you should want your racket to go there. That is one common tip they have, especially with drops, right? If you're aiming somewhere, you want your follow through to go in that direction. But more specifically, we're gonna be working today on our follow through to keep our bodies nice and stable, active, and use our follow through to hit straight lines on our drives. What we don't want to happen is that we hit the sidewall or that the ball comes out loose. So I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks for your follow through that will change this and make you guys hit consistent good drives. So let's get right into it. Okay. Starting on the backhand side, I've always told you guys that the most important thing here is to stay square on the ball. So staying square to the side wall, the literal one thing that we don't want on this backhand side guys is to open up our shoulders and be facing the front wall because this is very unstable, messes with your movement and you will not be able to hit consistent drives. Trust me on this and you're not stable, it's just not good. So you can actually, as well as using your shoulder, which I've explained in a previous video, you can use your follow through to stay square in your shot and hit nice drives. You do this by keeping your follow through in a straight line, right? So following through straight to hit that drive instead of follow opening up here, right? So what happens if you do this is all your force and momentum exits your body outwards. So uh, yeah, the channel is called Squash Force, so obviously I have to teach you guys a bit about force, physics, and momentum. So if you guys are doing this, all your momentum is leaving that way, your movement is gonna be terrible, it's very hard to stay balanced, and obviously you will open up and not hit consistent drives. So by hitting that straight drive in a straight line, you stay much more stable, balanced, and straight to the side wall. So the other great thing about following through straight instead of going out is that you can actually use it to, to get your preparation right. Look at this swing, you're going up and automatically the racket will come back to the middle, right? So boom, bam, you're right here where you wanna be in your next racket preparation. Make that little loop and come back to the middle and you're already back there, right? Instead of opening up, racket up here, and you're not, you know, it doesn't really work. Same thing applies on our forehand, guys. We wanna go follow through straight and really feel your core here when you're following through straight, staying stable, okay? You can just do this practicing like I am right now to feel the difference, and you guys will immediately see that this is so much of a difference and doing that in every single shot in the game over time you will uh, be much more efficient you won't get as tired so really feel that balance you have following through straight instead of doing that so if I'm doing this I feel my momentum going outwards I am not feeling balanced and this will play with my movement so I'm going to show you guys a few balls that I hit to give you a quick example Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys learned something today. I think working on making that follow through straight and getting it in flow 
with your racket preparation, making it one movement will make you so much more efficient. So please give this a go. If it's worked for you, let me know in the comments. Let me know if there's anything that you guys would like to see in the future. And uh, who knows, maybe I can make a video on it. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And until next week, Squash Force out.